Good afternoon. We're here to talk about the KM55 thermostatically controlled 55 gallon rubber melter. It can be sold separately or it does come with the crack maintenance trailer package. To turn on the heater system, the propane burner. Turn on your propane bottle over there. You have your pilot system. Depress the pilot. Hit your 12 volt igniter over here. Electronic sparker. On a quiet day, you can hear it sparking. Once the pilot is ignited, you depress this or hang on to it for a ballpark of 30 to 45 seconds. Once that time has elapsed, lift up on the brown knob, twist it to the on position, and set your thermostat according to the rubber that you are using. This is the KM55, it is not a direct torch in the hole system. It actually has a propane burner running along the bottom, hitting the stainless steel pan, enveloping the whole hot box rubber melter with hot air. So you have your direct fire, oil jacketed, as well as the KM55, which is a thermostatically controlled burner system, not the torch in the hole. With that, it allows you to travel down the road with it being lit and staying lit. But you have to check with your local laws and ordinances to see if that is allowed for you. The KM55 has the capability of having the molasses valve on the right or left side, as well as the hand paddle for the agitation. Simply remove it out of the cradle, pull your pin, Replace the pin. This will allow you to hand agitate your material. TM 55 also comes equipped with a propane burner to heat up your molasses valve. Everything is receiving heat except for the extend, extension of your molasses valve, which for the very first time through the crack application process, you will need to heat this. We have an extra steel shroud here to help protect the 55. To operate, simply pull it out of its safety cradle. You have a ball valve here. You want to make sure that you open up your ball valve very slowly so that you don't actuate the safety shutoff valve. With your sparker and the propane being fed, you would torch that and safely be able to stand at a distance and heat up your molasses valve. Anytime you're using hot rubber, you always want to make sure that you have good quality leather gloves so that it allows you to open up your molasses valve.